Hey, good morning. This is Alan Buchanan, and I provide location advice to owners and occupants of industrial buildings in Southern California. And welcome to another edition of this Tuesday Traffic Tips. This week, once again, brought to you by the good folks at Client Look, also the good folks at Reonomy. Please make sure you schedule your free demonstration today. So I can't even remember how many weeks we've now been locked down. Uh, our governor continues to move the goalposts on requirements for reopening our economy. Um, I believe we got a little bit of relief last week when he allowed some uh, some restaurants as well as some retail establishments to open. However, hair salons are still closed, uh, much to my regret. However, we persevere. So my thought and question for you today is, how do you deal with a client that continues to move the goalpost? Now, this could be an owner that establishes an asking price and all of a sudden offers tend to come in at the asking price and all of a sudden uh, he comes up with something else. He wants more, he wants better terms, he wants a greater deposit. Uh, this could be on an occupant requirement where he says, if you find me X, Y, Z, A, B, C, Q, then I'm a, I'm a, I'm a player and you come up with X, Y, Z, A, B, C, Q, and he says, well, it doesn't have, you know, QR, QRS. So how do you deal with, uh, with a client, either an occupant or an owner, that continues to move the goalpost? In other words, continues to change the terms of the transaction. Well, I think it's very important early on in the, in the uh, relationship to set expectations. In other words, if, uh, if you have an occupant that says, I want to have a building with ABCQ, make sure you carefully document that. Send them a note, send them an email, uh, incorporate that into your broker blast as to what your client is looking for. If you have an owner, obviously, that signs an, an engagement with you, you've got a price hopefully built into that engagement and you can, you can hearken back to that. But if you are careful at setting the expectations up front, you can always go back and say, now, when we talked on such and such a date, you mentioned that if we did the following, then uh, you were ready to transact. I believe this will help you and it will uh, create some means from which to go back and have another conversation. Alan Buchanan, make it a great week on Tuesday Traffic Tips.